what is up people how's it going this is Bharat welcome back to yet another video interesting day today because you're on the day four of the KVMD which is flutter challenge and I'm going to be starting the flutter application today so as discussed uh, I'm going to be doing the three page uh, for the flutter I have the UI mockups created and I'm going to be using this uh, using the same UI mockups that I did for KVMD and building my flutter application really excited let's get this started all right so this is my uh, three page uh, wireframe this we, we created this on the day zero uh, or the introduction video and i hope you guys did watch that so as we are progressing nicely towards the fourth day i wanted to create these three pages using flutter today so this is a bank application if you guys are new to this this is a bank application you have the login page you have the home page and we have the money transfer page and we will be trying to do that and all of these three pages in uh, just one day i have about two to three hours to uh, work on this i need to create the ui portion alone and all the working portion will be done tomorrow so we'll just create the ui portion make sure that the functional functionalities are working fine and probably end this day today so i'll see you guys uh, let's get this thing started because it's going to be very very interesting and also a little bit of uh, flutter my flutter experience is that i'm a little bit rusty so i might take some time to get used to it and we'll see how the uh, entire journey progresses so folks i have the uh, Android ID setup and the uh, right side is my emulator running. I have the Flutter plugins created and set up and all these things is done. So it might take about 5 to 10 minutes for you guys if you're starting freshly. And we have the base page also created. So I'm going to be starting here and working with my first page. Like I said, I like I showed you, we're going to be going with the login page. So we'll need a very simple home screen, uh, login screen with a uh, logo at the top and a couple of uh, text fields followed by a simple uh, submit button so that's what we're going to be building right now uh, let me start get started i'll show you guys or talk more about it as i go along So guys, I've just completed the second page till now. So we have a working model from from the login page to the home page, and I'm I'm very very happy with how it came out in a very less span of time. So just want to quickly make a point here that uh, Flutter has gotten extremely good hot reload support that you already know about. Uh, but what is also very cool about this is that it's also got a very uh, nice mixture of different widgets that makes it easy for us to pick and choose what should work what should not work and that's what i i really like about flutter for this for this specific scenario so what i've done is for the home page i've just given a spend history nothing no content yet inside here but for now just a simple spend history and i've got a credit card balance where you you can actually basically click on the pay monthly balance and do it and i'll be filling up uh, with this data from the server and finally the same bank and other bank uh, button should be clicked and it will take us to the final page so i'm going to be designing the final page again quickly here i come back to you guys and we'll, we'll end this video right there again very very impressed with how fast i could build a couple of pages here uh, let me let me see how the final page also turns out
all right guys so i have completed the entire uh, uis for three page uis for the entire application and to be honest with you guys i was really really impressed at like, how could complete how i could complete all of this in in a less amount of time compared to how i did with kiwi i totally understand that the the speed with which the flutter is giving us is extremely good and also like i said in the previous portion that all the uh, elements and widgets that are available are making it super easy for us to uh, construct a good looking application so let's get started so basically uh, this is like a temporary thing right now you can enter anything you want inside and you can see that it does get printed and what once it gets printed it's it's taking us to the next page it says that render box overflowed by four point uh four four pixels at the bottom i think that's fine like nothing is breaking as, as part of this right now i'll fix it to, in, in tomorrow's video so what happens is that it takes us to the home page and the home page has a spend history credit card balance and transfer money page and uh, basically we'll be loading this with dynamic data from the server finally the uh, transfer money page it takes us to the transfer money page and here we again enter the destination account let's say the 254 from the previous one and some data here uh, like yeah it should be the same again right so i don't have a logic to check it right now so we just enter it 254 and amount to send is uh, 500 bucks right and once we are done we'll send it and uh, we will see for ourselves that data set get printed the destination account and the user no, the, the amount to send is printed all right so that's it for this video i was really really impressed in under one hour to be honest in one hour i could do it and i'm going to be uh, like uh, including this as an important factor in our final day assessment all right so what is reminding is that in the tomorrow's video we're going to be linking this to our local server which is running in fast api and making sure that all the data that is rendered dynamically uh, inside this application and ending tomorrow's video in the final day we will actually again as uh, we did it for kiwi add some uh, uh, styling to this and make sure that it looks much better and uh, uh, render the final apk out so those are the ideas for the next two days i'm really excited let me meet you guys in tomorrow's video until then peace out have a super awesome day